Okay, here we are at Putnut's Kitchen. And what we're about to do is something I really haven't seen anywhere. It's a rendition of my rye bread recipe, which you can find on my channel. I'll put a link up at the top too. And this is going to be a variation on that recipe that I think is going to make it better. So, or I think it does make it better actually, but we're going to put bacon in our rye bread. And it's not really going to be rye bread. I've changed the recipe a little bit. There's no rye flour in it like the rye bread, but it's rye flavored bread and it's going to have bacon in it and a special ingredient to really kick that flavor up a notch. What we're doing here is just getting started. As you'll see in my slicing and dicing video, which I'll put a link to up above. What I did was I took this bacon, frozen, sliced it off the end about a half an inch thick, a little less, three-eighths maybe. Put it in the skillet, turn the fire on medium-low. Once it thaws, I'll bust it apart, fry it up, and we'll have bacon bits. Okay, got the bacon all cooked, got it drained, letting it cool and drain a little bit on a paper plate, and then comes the magic. And here's how we process that not so secret secret ingredient we already made bacon bits out of it but i still think they're a little too big so what we're going to do is we're going to grind them up in what they call the meat chopper it's more like a food processor with a stick blender i'll have my lovely assistant do that now so we can get on the road So here we go. I'll have my lovely assistant put in the dry ingredients and get the mixer going and we'll go from there. I went ahead and measured these out ahead of time and put two or three ingredients in one container just because I was short on containers. But Anyway, what we have going on is uh, We've got this wonderful lady. She likes to go golfing with her friends. and Her and her two friends are out golfing one day and they get to talking. and Come to find out that uh, her husband needs to have food on the table when he gets home from dinner. And she looks at the clock and she's not there yet. She rushes home. She can't find anything that she can have ready. What's she going to do? So what she does is she finds a can of cat food and a little bit of lettuce. So she makes the cat food and the lettuce into something fancy looking and just hopes that he doesn't notice. So he sits down, he eats the cat food with the lettuce and he says, honey, that was the best thing you've ever made. That was just fantastic. You can make that for me anytime. So the lady's like, wow, that's strange, but you know, okay. So she goes golfing with her friends and tells them what happened and says, you know, then she's made it for him several more times. And then one day, her friends start telling her, you're going to kill the guy giving him cat food. He can't eat cat food. That's not good for people to eat cat food. You're going to end up killing him. She's like, no, no, he loves it. So one day, her husband dies. And her friends find out that he died. And they're like, we told you. We told you it was going to kill him. We knew that you'd kill him with that cat food. She says, nonsense. That's all gouache. He didn't die from the cat food. He died from trying to, fell out of the window, trying to lick his butt. I messed that joke up. But it's funny nonetheless, right? Funny nonetheless. And she's putting in the seasonings now, which has some caraway seed. But here's the real seasoning. We got that bacon that we ground up earlier. We're going to get it in there. And then the ingredient that really gives it a kick. Really, really makes this good. If you follow my recipes or if you make a lot of keto breads, you're going to know what's missing already. And you might have an idea. Okay, now for that in secret ingredient. That nice fresh bacon grease. We're going to put in three tablespoons of that. Yeah, delicious bacon grease. That will really kick it up a notch. There's one. Normally you put butter or olive oil in a recipe. 
I figured if you're going to make bacon bread, you may as well make bacon bread. I want to know there's bacon in that bread when I eat it. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a short break, let that bread mix up. When we're ready to throw it in the oven, we'll roll it out and talk a little bit, bake it up and see what it tastes like. So, we'll see you in a little bit and hopefully on the next video I won't mess the joke up. But it was funny anyway, wasn't it? Okay, and the mixer just stopped mixing, so now we're ready to roll out our dough, make a wonderful loaf out of it. So I find it's easier to start out by pressing it together like that, and you just start rolling it. Turn it over, roll it this way. It kind of pulls itself apart while you're rolling it. Makes itself longer. I find that it rises so nicely that you really want it to be a little bit longer than it is tall as it will get bigger you get more slices out of it that way which means each slice is lowering carbs so that's always a good thing too I'll put it on here I like that now we're gonna go put it in the oven and let it rise a little bit and then we're gonna bake it and then we'll show it to you and we'll do a taste test how's that sound then you can make your own and mmm, mmm, is it good? Okay, here we are. The bread's out of the oven. It's all finished. Look at that nice loaf. It filled out nicely. Looks like it might have sunk a little in the middle. I might have left it in a little longer, but it was in there for 45 minutes. That should have been enough. But keto bread is funny. You learn that if you cook it for a while. So let's cut a slice off the end, see what it looks like on the inside, and give it a taste. Pretty hot. Hmm, got a wonderful smell. I don't know how well that's going to show up on the. You can see the texture. How oh, it raised up nicely. It's got nice little pieces of bacon in it. Let's take a taste. Do you like rye bread and bacon? You are going to love this. comes together great, rye bread and bacon. And I didn't even use any rye flour. So there you go. I'm going to have to adjust the cooking time to 50 minutes. But the recipe is spot on. So thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because I tend to specialize in baking things breads, cakes. Check out my cheesecake video. That cheesecake is awesome. And thanks for watching.